Thank you. A year ago, I stood on the stage and I made a wish born of a childhood dream to discover ancient sites, now expanded to the world. We spent the last year building Global Explorer, an online citizen science crowdsourcing archaeology platform in partnership with National Geographic, Digital Globe, and Tomnot. We wanted to create something fun, easy to use, and engaging, so explorers from 5 to 105 could participate and something that archaeologists could use. But this was a huge experiment. Would it work? Would people find things? Would we create an engaged global community? Fortunately, we archaeologists are completely crazy. We believe that you can rewrite history from a single bone. So we launched Global Explorer three months ago, working with Peru's ministries of culture and tourism, and with our ground partner, the Sustainable Preservation Initiative. As of an hour ago, we have had over 45,000 users who have looked at over 10.5 million satellite images. They, that has covered an area of over 100,000 square kilometers. And I'm so excited to share with you today, we spent the last two weeks reviewing the results, and to date, our global explorers have discovered over 29,000 ancient sites and features. Thank you. Now, we spent the last few weeks looking at these results, and you know what? Our crowd is awesome. We have virtually no false positives. We can't say yet whether these sites are completely new or already known. That's going to take time. But law of averages, a lot of them are going to be new discovery sites like this or this. We'd hoped to get out into the field last month to look at some of these sites, but with the flooding in Peru, we couldn't. That's OK. We'll spend the next few months looking at them. Now, I want to tell you about some of our amazing global explorers who come from over 200 countries, including American Samoa, Yemen, and Syria. Meet Doris. Doris is 90 years old, she comes from Ohio, and she's largely housebound. She feels like Global Explorer allows her to make a real contribution to science without leaving her home. Now, Doris has looked at over 50,000 satellite images, reaching the level of space archaeologist. I mean, of course she has. She's going to put me out of business. <laughs> Doris, you rock. This is Maha. He's from India. He dreamt of being an archaeologist as a young child, but went on to be a doctor instead. He now uses Global Explorer with his nephew and hopes to inspire him to pursue his dreams of exploration and discovery. A year ago, I talked to you about our work at Lisht, a site in Egypt dating to 3,800 years ago. We just ran a field school this past December, training brilliant young Egyptians in satellite imagery, survey, and excavation. I want to show you some of our cool finds, this beautiful little Sekhmet figurine and this stunning inscribed block. We're going to be announcing Country 2 later this year. Long term, the plan is to build a center for archaeological innovation, which will house our crowdsourcing, exploration, and education initiatives. This will take time and support, but will help to define the future of archaeology. So last year, when I walked on stage, I had a hat just like this one. To me, it represents the excitement of discovery, the potential of achieving the impossible, and living out your childhood dreams of exploring the ancient world. But as I've learned this year, that dream doesn't belong to me anymore. It's yours. And this, it now belongs to you. <laughs> Thank you.